Hello, I am Dr. Thompson Akwantuba, certified expert in global health, international physician, working in global health, an emphasis in global health, MedCom, or the medical communication aspect of global health. You are aware of the disaster that has taken place in Florida, the condo or the deadly condo collapse or the deadly condo building collapse. We have had a briefing from the authorities on the ground. The administration of President Biden has already addressed the issue. An emergency declaration has been made by the federal government, which makes it possible for FEMA to be mobilized, for FEMA resources to be mobilized. And so far, we've been told that there are FEMA personnel, there, are, there is FEMA money that has been mobilized to the area in Florida. We also heard from the mayor about what is being done. So far, there is optimistic hope as the rubble is being searched with dogs and other resources to be able to find if there is still life in the debris. The chief of fire, the Red Cross, has already spoken. The Red Cross is doing everything to shelter those who are temporary are homeless because their homes in that building has been destroyed. So the Red Cross is providing them temporary shelter as is done uh, during disasters and emergencies. The Red Cross is also going to take care of uh, certain social and uh, uh, psychological needs. So there is a request and resources have been mobilized from the national territory to, to, to Florida uh, to assist the recovery, uh, the rescue and recovery uh, process. Uh, the survivors are pretty shaking, uh, though at this point a, a lot of them are still asking the whereabouts of loved ones, be the parents, uh, uh, husbands, wife, children, relatives, and that. Um, over the night, it's been said that uh, the death toll has increased um, with an addition of about three people. It is also said that more than 99 people are yet accounted for. Though, to be unaccounted, doesn't mean that or translate to death because those who are missing may not necessarily have been in the building on that day. Uh, there are people who may have traveled though they have uh, accommodation or, or they, their residence is in that building. There are others who for different reasons may not have been there when that happened. So the, the rescue and recovery uh, uh, mission is ongoing and uh, the risk assessment uh, and communication is being done as uh, new information is getting to uh, the, the authorities in place and so people are told that uh, they should be patient as the deadly collapse condo is being processed uh, people are asking questions as to what may have been the cause because uh, some experts in architecture, engineering and, and structural engineers have, have spoken and have said it's very rare for a condo like that to just collapse. Uh, there is also a history of uh, maybe certain uh, repairs needed in the condo. Uh, so far there are no definitive uh, cause 